So you see the round we're testing out today, it is the Hornady Tap 223 Remington 75 grain boat tail hollow point load and it is uh, item number 80265 in the Hornady line. It's a very popular load, a lot of guys use it for uh, home defense as, long as, as well as hunting. Um, so we're going to put it through the gel today and see how it works. Well, you guys saw the ammo that we're using for today's test. Here's the rifle. This is a 14.7 inch pinned mid-length uh, Palmetto State Armory cold hammer forged barrel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what kind of results we get in that gel block. Let's take a look at the gel block here. As you can see, it entered the gel block. The bullet appeared to stay together right until about the four inch mark. At that point, fragmentation definitely occurs. Um, you'll see it from the overhead shot as well, but there's a pretty big wound cavity, permanent wound cavity all the way down to about the 10 inch mark and right there the jacket of the bullet starts to separate off. So the jacket of the bullet is dumped right around the 10 inch mark but the inside of that bullet keeps traveling on and fragments are found all the way down to the 19 inch mark. Most of those fragments though did break off sometime between the 10 inch and the 19 inch mark. Shot for you guys to see the wound track I was just talking about a little bit better. And just moving on, let me fix my tape measure here. Straighten that out for you. But you can see right there, that's the uh, jacket separation right around the 10-inch mark. Moving down, not sure how well that shows up on camera, but right about right above that 19-inch uh, mark, there's the last of the uh, bullet fragments. Those are the fragments I was able to recover from the gel block. Coming in at 3.3 grams, which equates to 49 grains. That said, there's probably more in that block, and once I melt it down and recycle it, I'll find the rest. Overall, I'd say the round performed pretty well. The one place I would like to see it improve in is in the velocity. I know we we're shooting in a 14.7 uh, inch pin barrel, but it was still only coming in at 2386 uh, feet per second, generating 948 foot pounds of energy. Certainly something I wouldn't want to uh, take to the chest for sure. So I'm not complaining all in all. But other than that, it performed extremely well. The wound channel was nasty. It fragmented just like it should. All these little fragments came out while the uh, heavy center of the bullet penetrated through to a um, pretty good distance. All in all, um, I would have no problem loading up my home defense rifles with this uh, ammo. But if you guys have any questions with this test, uh, you can feel free to post them here. You can also post over on my Facebook page. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next video.